Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope those are watching these videos having good health and doing great. And in this video, I'm going to explain about peptic ulcer uh, as a part of gastric ulcer. So, what is the meaning of peptic ulcer? And what is the meaning of gastric ulcer? And why this ulcer happens in our body? And what is the treatment? So, if you see first that the peptic ulcer is actually three types. That is stomach ulcer, esophageal ulcer, and duodenal ulcer. To understand these things, we need to know the GI tract or gastrointestinal tract or alimentary tract. You know that our alimentary tract starts from mouth or buccal cavity and ends with the anus. But you see when we take food through the buccal cavity, we swallow it and through the esophagus, it goes to stomach first and then it goes to small intestine and the first part of small intestine is duodenum so, so the ulcer or the source it happens in this upper GI tract or the upper gastrointestinal tract or alimentary tract that is known as peptic ulcer and if this ulcer or source happening in the underlying factors like stomach ulcers there are the there are open sores that develop on the lining on the stomach so the gastric ulcer will develop in the stomach you see the esophageal ulcer that is that is developed inside the esophagus the the tree too you know that this is the esophagus and this is the stomach and then this is the u-shaped duodenum and then start the small intestine so i hope you know it so when this is the esophagus so in these underlying factors or in these stomach when sores are open and there are ulcer in the stomach this is known gastric ulcer and if it's in the duodenum then it's known as duodenal ulcer and this Esophagus, if this is esophageal ulcer, so we can say that esophageal ulcer, gastric ulcer, or duodenal ulcer. So, including these three places where this ulcer can be, like in esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, this is known as peptic ulcer. So, why these ulcers, and what is the main reason of it? Firstly, if I say that. The first reason of the peptic ulcer is for the irregularities of the food, it can be, then taking the spicy foods and oily foods and excessive uh, intake of oily foods and irregularities of the food taking behavior is the main reason of developing peptic ulcer. If you see the cause first, that what are the main cause of peptic ulcer? So you, you must know one thing that peptic ulcer and the gastric ulcer, if you want to make it a, some sort of distinguish then peptic ulcer together three places, esophageal, esophageal, stomach and duodenum. So based on the place, you just name the ulcers. So right now, the main cause of the peptic ulcer is the bacteria. And the name of the bacteria is Helicobacter pylori, or in short, you can say H. pylori. And this bacteria develops inside stomach or inside esophagus or inside duodenum, then it creates the ulcer. And then based on the place, uh, the name of the organ we say it's either duodenal, either gastric or either intestinal. So now Helicobacter pylori is the main cause of peptic ulcer. Secondly, smoking. Smoking is the common cause of everything. Excessive alcohol intake, irregular meals and in taking spicy meals, oily meals and even uh, intake of like stimulation food like coffees these are the main reason. So mostly uh, irregular meals and spicy meals and helicobacter pylori is the main reason of peptic ulcer. Now the thing about the symptoms. What are the symptoms of peptic ulcer if a body uh, develops peptic ulcer? Because uh, pain will be the main issues like feeling pain in the mid abdomen when the stomach is empty or even full with fatty foods. In both cases the pain will be felt 
and that pain in the it's like a dull pain and a regular pain so changes in appetite is the symptom nausea bloody or dark stools even when when ulcers become larger than uh, if there is a vomit blood can come out with the vomiting and even blood can come out with the stool so bloody or dark stool is another symptoms of peptic ulcer in digestions i mean the problems of digestions vomiting vomiting sometimes with blood and chest pain and of course we can say that number 7 is dull pain in the in, in mid abdomen mid abdomen is another symptoms of peptic ulcer or even you can say gastric ulcer so what are the main symptoms changes appetite nausea blood in dark stool indigestions vomiting chest pain and dull pain in the mid abdomen now you think i must mention two names here and that is one i mean robin warren and barry marshall robin warren I mean, uh, 1951 to till now, 57 I think, and Barry Marshall is 1931 or 37 to till now. These two scientists, I mean physicians, uh, what they did actually, Barry Marshall drank a full of uh, H. pylori bacteria, a cocktail actually, inside his own, own stomach and took the risk of his own life to see the activities of H. pylori. As because it was thought earlier that inside the stomach this is extremely acidic environment because the pH is around 1.3 I mean sometimes here yeah, 1.3 to 2.5 so as the pH level or, or in, into the in, inside the stomach that means it's strongly acid so it was thought that the bacteria couldn't survive in this acidic environment but H. pylori makes it false that H. pylori develops in this acidic environment and that was proved by the self-killing uh, extremely dangerous experiment in someone's own body and Barry Marshall did it and then when he was actually ill and then after antibiotic and some other precaution makes him recovery and from then they got the Nobel Prize to, to invent these H. pylori or helicobacter pylori and that is why these two persons name is mentioned everywhere when you discuss about peptic ulcer or gastric ulcer so how to diagnose these peptic ulcers you can say like endoscopy or barrier meal x-ray can be the, um, the way you can diagnose this peptic ulcer so what are the managements and how to prevent these peptic ulcers at first healthy lifestyle firstly that we can say that regular meal three times a day or even four times a day but that should be regular we must avoid spicy foods or oily foods we must take vegetables fruits and fibrous food with clean and hygienic way we must follow a healthy diet or balanced diet for for the sort of intestinal disorder as because this is the series of videos that i'm uploading since uh, last six to seven videos is all about the intestinal disorder and this is about peptic ulcer and in all cases i say that smoking is another main factors or key factors of all kind of disease so as a person can relieve from this bad habit the entire life he or she must be very very happy and can lead a good life so proper medications with doctor advice is the treatment i mean that person's i mean a person's getting the peptic ulcer that uh, that should be observed or examined by a doctor so that it can be diagnosed by the proper way and can identify the level of peptic ulcer and then proper antibiotics and proper food habit and prescriptions can be ready for that person and that person can be recovery fully so in this video what we got that see if, if i say the wrap up of the gastric ulcer or peptic ulcer you must know that peptic ulcer can be divided into three different parts based on the placement so esophageal a gastric and duodenal ulcer is the peptic ulcer so the cause can be helicobacter pylori smoking excessive alcohol intake and irregular meal 
If you see the symptom, the changes in appetite, nausea, bloody dark stools, indecisions, vomiting, chest pain, dull pain in the mid abdomen are the symptoms. In case of diagnosis, you can say the endoscopy and barium meal x ray, and treatment should be following the proper medication with doctor advice. So, of course, if you want to know more about the, the invention history of H. pylori, then you please Google and think about the, the exciting process of invention of uh, Barry Marshall and uh, Robin Warren. And of course, this is a very short video about gastric and peptic ulcer. I am not clearing it from the medical aspect. I'm just following the syllabus. That is why the videos are getting so short. And students, those are English versions and Carrot College. Please put your concentration totally so that you can understand why it's intestinal disorder and what are the main reasons. So the main purpose of these disorders so that you make yourself very cautious about this disease and uh, try to make you understand that what is the benefit of healthy lifestyle what is the benefit of balanced diet what is the healthy lifestyle and what is the main functions of if somebody is getting ill I mean good health is the key factor if somebody wants to lead a good healthy life he or she should follow some rules and these rules if somebody denies then disease are mandatory so take care stay well i hope you lead a very good and healthy life and disease free life so take care stay well study well take care